Hi everyone, my name is Vasudha. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be sharing five of my favorite funny mom books. If you are a parent, you would know parenting is so difficult these days. And being a mommy is not an easy job. Motherhood brings its own challenges, its own complications, so many complex situations. So I feel it's very important for us moms to just take a break and we need to relax. We need to calm down. We need to just slow down with this parenting thing and we need to put ourselves also first. So as a self-care for moms, I would say reading funny mom books is a very good option. I do have some other self-care tips as well. If you are interested, you can take a look at that video as well. And along with that, I would emphasize that for us mothers, we need to really take a chill pill. So finding humor in our parenting, looking at things from a funny perspective makes the task of motherhood or parenting in general much more easier. So let's dive in. So the first book that I read as a mother and the one which I highly recommend is by Shanali Kuller Shroff. It's called battle him of a bewildered mother the title may sound familiar to you because there's a book by Amy Chua by a similar sounding title which is the battle hill of a tiger mom but here Shonali Kuller Shroff has actually opened up a wit can if I can say she has brought out her motherhood experiences in such a funny way and therefore she has aptly titled the book as a bewildered mom she looks at so many issues of the kids that she is raising and she has two daughters one is a teenager I believe and another one is a toddler and she says it so candidly right from the start that she did not have a maternal instinct and contrary to so many parenting ideas that keep floating around us that if you are a mom you have to be like this it's very natural for a woman to bear children it's very natural for a woman to love her kids but Shanali Khulla Shroff she completely defies all these parenting stereotypes or motherhood stereotypes and she resists the whole idea of motherhood and you find it so funny because not all of us want kids not all of us like our kids the way we are told we should like them because there are challenges nobody has a parenting manual so Shanali Kuller Shroff deals with those issues in a very fun way and right from birthday parties to school trips and even to you know the dads how can we forget our husbands they form an important part of this equation so all the issues that a mom deals with like all the things the burden of thinking the burden of planning and the burden of even executing the plans and all of that she has said in such a humorous way and in every chapter of the book she sounds so puzzled she seems to be like she has no clue what her daughters are saying to her and she's just trying to rely on her own devices to make things work for them so i would say that um, this book is a must read if you want a quick break from your mundane routines so and it's a very slim book under 200 pages I believe so do read this book if you want to find out more about the similarities between yourself and other moms and even as she's raising a teenage daughter how she's dealing with issues of infatuation and crush that her daughter has on her schoolmate and the use of technology for example the use of wi-fi how much she has to allow how much she has to restrict and those kind of questions which i believe all of us as parents are dealing with or have to deal with at some point in time and once i even tracked 
Shonali Kullar Shroff on social media and I shared my appreciation of her book with her but she did say that she did not want to categorize her book into a mom book because apparently even some youngsters are reading her book so she didn't want to label it as a parenting book but if you read it you will find that she has written this book primarily from the perspective of a mother so it's full of personal anecdotes it's full of funny stories of how she is also learning to be a mother alongside raising her daughters and also this book has a foreword by priyanka chopra yes the indian actress priyanka chopra apparently the author and the actress knew each other since childhood perhaps they both were army kids and overall this book is full of fun full of humor extremely witty the next book is by pamela druckerman and it's called bringing up babe and you might have heard about this book you might have read this book but there's no harm in rereading this book because it is in equal part fun and in equal part it's a very serious book this one is an out and out parenting book but said in a lot of humor and the kind of topics that this author has dealt with in this book are so fascinating the range of issues that she has brought to the table through this one book are incredible she is an american working mom married to a british but she opts for the french way of parenting and this is an extremely well researched book I believe that she took about 3 years to write this book and it comes out so rich. It's a brilliant account of perhaps practically all the parenting issues that one deals with especially in their early years of parenting or if I can say especially when their kids are little. So she talks about how to put your newborn babies to sleep. How is that a challenge? no parent wants to have sleepless nights so what is the french way of going about this and how amazingly all the french ways seem to work when it comes to little kids when it seems like we are struggling with issues of putting our babies to full 5 or 6 hours of sleep at night or when we are dealing with issues of feeding our kids so many of us face that our kids are fussy eaters but apparently the french seem to go about these issues like it's a cake walk and that's what the author tries to bring about in this book and in a very hilarious tone and just like the previous book that i mentioned in here also the author brings out humor in a way that it's self deprecating so it's self deprecating humor that adds value to this book she is trying to put the jokes on her just like shanali kullar shroff did in her book and that is where you don't find it offensive because it's not targeted at someone they are not being judgmental to others but they are laughing at themselves so both these books contain self deprecating tone and for example in a particular instance in this book the author is trying to conceive for a second time and her desperation of conceiving for the second time comes out hilariously how she misses her ovulation cycle how she tries to catch a flight from america to belgium where her husband was and in the desperation of not to miss her ovulation period so i think that was a uh, brought out in a very fun way and like i said this book is extremely well researched so you will find lots of theories into it you will find lots of uh, references to child psychologists and especially the french child psychologists you will find lots of references to french philosophers lots of references to educationists 
and in this book she has brought about very candidly very transparently lot of issues which american parents face and similar experiences we as indian parents also face for example how our society will judge us if we do not parent in a certain way or how do we make friends especially this is true when you are living in a far away country or how you try to create your own mom circle of friends and how you want to make your own group and try but the french seem to be completely reserved in their selves apparently and they don't go about saying hello and hi to everybody so those kind of cultural differences and idiosyncrasies are very well brought out in this book and many other issues are also dealt with in a hilarious way so like i said it's equal part humor and equal part wisdom and uh, you will enjoy reading this book as well my third funny mom book is bunmi laditan's confessions of a domestic failure and the name itself is so so funny that you would really want to read this book to the end and here if i can say the whole content of the book is so good it's so relevant i would say to moms that every issue that we deal with on a daily basis is dealt with in this book all real emotions all real feelings and it's such an honest book it's so candidly written it's fiction but she has presented it in a very real way and if there was one alternate title to this book i would call it dirty laundry because that's one thing the character in this book is dealing with all the time piles and piles of dirty laundry how it keeps sitting in one room on the floor over here over the kitchen counter and so on and how she is trying to deal with that she loves her kid the character in the book has a 9 month old daughter and she has left her job to take care of her she talks about her struggles as a four stay at home mom like going through pinterest looking at all the crafty things and then hating it because she is not good at crafting she talks about so many disasters that happen when she even attempts to make some crafty things and also cooking for example she is not good at that and she tries to cook for her husband she tries to bake things for her daughter but she ends up in some blunder in some disaster in her oven so there's so many stories that she has discussed and uh, more importantly there are two things in the book that stood out for me one was that how she admired an ideal type of a celebrity mom who runs a mom show a motherhood competition and she falls for that she is very mesmerized and fascinated with the perfect the ideal type of mom that is projected by another woman a tv celebrity and in the end i'm not going to reveal the plot to you but once you read the book you find out that every mom is the same even though from the outside we may project that our things are under control and we have full control over our life but it's not so and many of us have so many limitations but we try to portray that everything is good so that's one thing i thought was so true like when we look at instagram for example or social media of any kind we see so many you know mothers trying to fall into one kind of a bracket and trying to project that oh look everything is fine our hair are nice our clothes are to the t and our lipsticks match our costumes and so on so it may not be the case for most of us so there's no regret in that there's no guilt about it and the second thing and the most important thing i felt was how she dealt with the whole issue of breastfeeding and those who are incapable of breastfeeding what kind of a taboo and a guilt that they go through 
uh, for not breastfeeding their kids she's talked about that in a very serious way how she feels that she is kind of outcasted by other mothers how some sometimes we indirectly or unknowingly become so judgmental about other women who are not able to breastfeed or who do not check so many other boxes of motherhood so she's talked about that issue as a very important issue how we must just let moms be every mom is different and these are natural processes they work for some people they don't work for some people so i have written a review of this book in my blog i'm going to share the link in the description box you can read my review and please read this book i think it's going to make you laugh too my fourth funny mom book is by megan foy it's called meternity and here the character of this book writes for a parenting magazine or i guess a mom magazine and the character is single she's not married but she wants to take maternity leave she thinks that it's the privilege only of actual mothers to go on maternity leave but what about those who do deserve a break from their work but they do not get that privilege so called privilege of maternity leave so there are many of us in our society who may not want to have kids at all but this is a hilarious take and how so the character almost gets jealous uh from other mothers from her colleagues who are going on maternity leave and the burden of work in her office falls on her and she gets so frustrated she wants to take a break but she can't she has no a uh, long leave so to say a 4 month or a 6 month break where she can justifiably claim to go on a break but she comes up with a plan to fake her pregnancy and uh, how she hides it she tries to make up stories to her mom and to her friends and then she tries to kind of have a fake bump and so on and so forth so what happens in the end i'm not going to reveal it but this book is about maternity leave so she talks about how taking a break for her own self is so important to keep herself uh, stress free to keep herself sane and calm from her stressful work environment what compels her to take this kind of a leave to fake all this is also very interesting how she has put it up and the book is so hilarious it's actually it's one of my favorite books to read whether we support such an idea or not is a different matter altogether but the mom stories in this book are real and you will really enjoy reading them and my last funny mom book recommendation is actually a collection of mom blogs it's called i just want to be alone it's written by some of the famous mom bloggers there are multiple authors who have written this book and their collection is hilarious it's actually his hysterical i mean if you are comfortable with the little f words and little a hole kind of words then this book will make you laugh and roll on the floor it's that kind of hilarious because the experiences shared by these mothers are so funny so funnily written i mean again when we go through those stressful and so challenging situations the last thing on our mind is to laugh but these women again even if it's written in hindsight they make you laugh so much and most importantly the whole underlying principle of this book is to be a funny mom all these mom bloggers they emphasize on only one thing and that is to be to add humor to your parenting just stop stressing over things just stop panicking and just see 
things from a lighter perspective just laugh out loud with your kids when you are raising them when you experience unanticipated situations or even when you have like small accidents at home instead of getting hyper and panicky and instead of going by the book all the time that this is what we need to follow this is what we need to do just let yourselves lose just calm down take a deep breath and laugh out loud with your kids that's the whole point of this book and each and every essay of this book is so funnily written even if some of the authors have given a big serious message at the end trying to explain their philosophy of parenting and motherhood or life in general i would say each and every essay is really funny whether it is related to poop stories of your kids whether it is related to even facing your own delivery paranoia when you go into the operation theater how do you feel and no matter what the whole world will tell you about these things nobody can prepare you for your experience so i really could relate to a lot of those articles those stories from the book and some i have not experienced personally but i thought were equally funny if i were in that situation i would also probably would have reacted in the same manner but again from reflective thinking i would really laugh at them and the way these authors have narrated their experiences may sound so mean this is mean mom humor but let's not be judgy about it i mean many of us get annoyed with our kids many of us want to just break free from those situations of not even having to see our kids for a few hours at least if not days so some of these are those kind of stories where moms are ranting about momhood and those are funny rants those are really hilarious rants which i'm sure many of us can relate to so do read this book it's by some celebrated mom bloggers and you can also then maybe go on to their blogs and read more articles by them but this was really a funny read a collection of short stories a collection of essays in one book you cannot ask for anything better so this is like one of the best reads i would say on mommyhood and let's try to be calm and let's try to be funny let's try to add humor it doesn't matter life will still go on we will still be moms and we cannot take this momhood so seriously so laugh out loud and just drop things which you cannot control let's not be control freaks but just let's try to lighten up our lives a little bit and most importantly i feel that this is what will go a long way our kids will actually remember when you know we all had a hearty laugh when somebody farted in the room rather than making a face or just trying to strictly tell your child that this is not the way or this is not how you behave if we burst out in laughter after that that would be something your kids and you yourself will really remember for a long time so we have a lot on our plate already mamas so let's try to ease up a bit let's try to laugh more smile more with our kids and we all are doing enough for our families we all are doing a lot for our kids so along with that love let's also add some humor if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have some funny mom stories to share please write them in the comment section below until next video thank you and bye